Whether cooking at home or eating out, chicken and turkey are an all-American favorite. Baked, roasted, grilled, or fried. Perhaps the juicy dark meat of a turkey leg for the holidays. Or a plate of chicken wings served up for a ball game on TV. But, like many of our favorite foods, we often don't think about all the hard work that takes place before it reaches our plate. The U.S. Poultry and Egg Association invites you to join us for a behind-the-scenes look at today's high-tech, highly efficient poultry processing plants, where the industry proudly earns its reputation for producing one of the safest, most wholesome, and affordable foods in the world. We begin as the birds are collected from the family farms and delivered for processing. Processing plants are typically located near the farms where the birds have been raised, which serves to minimize stress and discomfort to the birds during the delivery phase. Poultry companies must follow strict guidelines established by the U.S. Department of Agriculture for the stunning and slaughter of chickens and turkeys. And while consumers may prefer not to think about what happens at this step, rest assured, poultry companies make every effort to treat the animals in a controlled manner that is both humane and respectful. Dim lighting relaxes the birds, keeping them calm and preventing possible injury. Next, they are transported to an area of the plant where they are immediately stunned and rendered unconscious. Currently, there are two approaches to stunning, electrical, and controlled atmosphere stunning. Electrical stunning is achieved by exposing the birds to a mild electrical current. Controlled atmosphere stunning uses either a mixture of inert gases or concentrations of carbon dioxide to lower oxygen levels. While each stunning method has its advantages, both render the birds unconscious and incapable of feeling pain. Both are considered equally humane and both are widely accepted by independent animal welfare organizations such as the United Nations World Organization for Animal Health and the American Association of Avian Pathologists. After the birds are rendered insensible to pain, they pass by a sharp blade that severs arteries in the neck. In the next processing step, feathers are removed with hot water and mechanical picking devices. Inside each of these picking machines are hundreds of rubber fingers, efficiently removing the feathers. The bird is now ready for the removal of internal organs. This step is highly automated and a long way from the old days of workers standing shoulder to shoulder using only knives and scissors. Innovative technology continues to be introduced to eliminate many of the repetitive tasks of the past while assuring even greater food safety and product quality. Raw meat, like any fresh agricultural product, including fruit and vegetables, may harbor naturally occurring bacteria. Some bacteria have the potential to make people sick if raw food products are improperly stored, handled, or undercooked. Processing plants use a variety of intervention strategies at key control points to reduce bacteria counts. For example, the carcass is quickly cooled in a cold water or a cold air chiller to inhibit the growth of bacteria. Other strategies may include the use of food-grade antimicrobial rinses, which are recognized by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration as a safe and effective way to inhibit the growth of foodborne pathogens on raw product. Food safety oversight is also conducted at poultry processing facilities by the Food Safety and Inspection Service, a public health agency of the USDA. Federal inspectors are on duty at all times during plant operation to inspect every bird. FSIS and plant officials routinely test product for pathogens to measure the effectiveness of bacteria control efforts. Plants must meet or exceed standards set forth by the USDA in this regard. If food safety concerns do arise, federal inspectors are authorized to halt production until the issue is fully resolved. Another important aspect of food safety is sanitation. In fact, each day an entire operating shift is dedicated to sanitation. This involves washing down walls and floors and disinfecting plant equipment with approved cleaning agents. Each day before a plant can resume operation, federal inspectors must review and approve sanitation protocols to assure strict adherence.
Food safety is critical to maintaining the reputation of the U.S. poultry industry for consumer confidence and trust. Collectively, proper handling, interventions, sanitation, and microbial testing all lead to improved food safety for chicken and turkey products. We hope this presentation has helped you better appreciate the hard work and diligence that goes into processing the delicious and highly nutritious chicken and turkey products that we all enjoy at home and on the go. It truly takes a partnership among the farmer, the processor, and the federal government working together to assure the highest food standards. But there is still one more key partner, you. You play the final role. All consumers need to understand and follow proper procedures in the handling and preparation of any poultry product to maintain safety and prevent illness. It's as easy as following these four simple steps. Clean. Wash hands and surfaces often. Separate. Don't cross-contaminate. Cook. Cook to proper temperature. Chill. Refrigerate promptly. Chicken and turkey should always be cooked to a proper temperature. Only by using a food thermometer can you accurately determine that poultry has reached a safe minimum internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit throughout the product. As mentioned earlier, similar precautions extend to other raw foods, including most fruits and vegetables. Thank you for watching. If you would like more information, contact the U.S. Poultry and Egg Association or visit our website at www.uspoultry.org. As part of this series of educational videos on the poultry industry, we also highlighted the modern-day hatchery and the family farm where chickens and turkeys are raised. If you are interested in this phase of the poultry industry, be sure to view our presentation entitled Raising Chickens and Turkeys for Today and Tomorrow on U.S. Poultry's YouTube page. This message was brought to you by the U.S. Poultry and Egg Association. Funding for this video was provided by the International Poultry Expo. Please support our exhibitors and we invite you to attend.